Welcome back to The Way We Farm. It is April 27th. It's the first official day of doing field work for us. Unfortunately, tomorrow 70% chance rain, almost 100% Friday, Saturday. But we are strip tilling cover crop wheat that we killed six days ago with our 400 HD and our new Gladiator. We just got the fertilizer system all squared away. And look at that bad boy. Woo! We are looking good, Troy. We are looking good. Yeah, we got the thumbs up. I think he's happy to get his new toy going. Look at that beautiful soil. Man, them cover crop roots are gorgeous. Man, I'm excited. I do love farming. Holy cow, I get paid to do this? Really? So our gladiator has new red balls on both sides. A new 7055 John Blue pump. Distributor on top, red balls on that side. We just threw 600 gallons of 28% stabilized nitrogen in here, and we're gonna take her out to the field and see if she works. We're not 100% sure the ground's overly ready, but we got her set at 10 inches deep. We reversed these coulters because they were facing the other way, and we weren't sure we liked it that way. So we're gonna take her out. We're gonna do a couple test rounds. It's good, just like a glove. Oh yeah, that's a road full. That fills up our little country road. A little hard to tell, but right here we, is our spray line. This is cover crop that we killed. This is cover crop that we're gonna leave to excuse me, plant Troy's pumpkins into. We're gonna plant green the pumpkins this year around Memorial Day. And then just above this cover crop is the actual wheat crop we're leaving. So Troy's down by the road setting a new AB line. Now we're gonna come up here and see how close we are to the old AB line. So I just wanted to show this little spot. This field here is winter wheat that we're leaving. Excuse me. This is winter wheat that we're leaving. Here's where we spray killed the dry beans last fall. It killed the cover crop. We had a little gully start, and then right there where the cover crop starts again, the gully is gone. So luckily we got a little six foot long, eight foot long gully here. But if this field hadn't been wheat, and this hadn't been cover crop, we probably would have had a heck of a wash through here. It'd probably be closer to a foot deep, and it'd probably go from up on top of the hill down into the valley. So big, believer in cover crops we killed these uh six days ago this cover crop wheat it had some crimson clover and a little bit of radishes the clover didn't overwinter which crimson usually doesn't in our area and the, the radishes are long gone but we're going to get this strip tilled we got a big rain coming here in the next couple days so we want to just strip till it then when the rain when the rain's gone dries out we'll be able to go we won't have to strip till it 10 inches deep. We'll just have to wait for the top four or five inches to dry out. We can get it planted. So Troy's going to get the old gladiator set and we're going to give her heck. So a little summary of how things went with the Gladiator and the 400 HD. As you notice, I have a Case IH hat on. I've been a John Deere guy my whole life, but we are loving that new tractor. We also love our Case IH Patriot sprayer, and we're really liking the Gladiator. So we did a little bit of corn ground. We did a little bit of ground that's going to get planted to soybeans. 
but now it's raining. So we're going to have rain for the next few days, but when the weather breaks, we are ready to rock and roll. The fertilizer system worked good. Gladiator worked good. Tractor worked good. So thanks for watching. Following along. If you got any questions or comments about our cover crops or any other things we do, please drop it in the box. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. And it is going to be a great week to feed the world once we get rolling. So thanks for following. See you next time on The Way We Farm.